What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a super easy and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock Sugarcane farm. This is a zero tick farm that will work on 1.16 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, you'll be able to use this sugarcane farm to get a ton of sugarcane. For this farm, all you'll need is one dirt block, two water buckets, 14 pieces of glass, two dispensers, one regular piston, 18 solid blocks of your choice. You guys can pick any solid blocks that you want. One staircase of your choice, two redstone repeaters, one redstone torch, 11 pieces of redstone, one chest, one hopper, two glass panes, one lever, and finally one piece of sugarcane. The first step is to take some solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks that you want. In this case, I'm using oak wood planks. Then place two blocks over here, place a block over here, and then place a block over here. Then break this block. After that, you're going to take a lever, place it over here, then take a redstone torch, place it down here, then come over here and place a redstone repeater facing this way. Then, take a piece of redstone and place it under. This should create a redstone clock. Now, just shut it off. Then, extend out two more pieces of redstone. Now, place two solid blocks over here, and two solid blocks over here. The next step is to take some dispensers, place one facing upwards over here, and one facing upwards over here. Then, you're going to connect them with redstone. So place a redstone over here, two redstone over here, and one over here. Then, you're going to crouch down, and place a stair lock over here. Then you're going to come over here, place two temporary blocks, and place down a chest. Then you can break these two blocks. Now you're going to crouch down and place a hopper that is falling towards the chest. This hopper will collect all the sugarcane. After that, you guys are going to place three solid blocks over here and three over here. This will keep the water in. Then you're going to take a dirt block and place it over here. This will be where your sugarcane grows. At this point, your farm should be looking something like this. You have a redstone clock over here, then the main system over here. The next step is to come over here and flick on the system. Then place a water bucket in here. Then place a water bucket in here. The water should alternate back and forth just like this. If you guys find that your water is getting put in and sucked out at the same time, then you'll need to take out the water buckets and try to do it again until you finally get it right so that it alternates back and forth. This is necessary for the farm to work. Once you guys have got the water to alternate, then just come over here and flick the farm off. Then you're going to take a solid block, place it over here, then place a regular piston, make sure it's facing this way. After doing this, you're going to want to take three glass blocks, place three over here, and place another three on top, then do the same thing on this side. Then place a temporary block over here, and then two glass blocks over here. Then you can break this temporary block. Now you're going to take a piece of sugarcane and plant it right here. Then take some glass panes and cover it like this. By putting glass all around this area, we are going to make sure that all the sugarcane stays in the farm instead of getting shot out. The next step is to come over here to the side of the farm, then place a restaurant repeater, make sure it's facing this way. Then place a solid block over here, then place a temporary block on top, then place another solid block, then you can break the temporary block and do that again. Then you're going to place a block over here. At this point, you should have a little redstone staircase. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take some redstone and just connect it all the way. It should trigger the piston. After making your little redstone staircase, you're going to want to come over to this redstone repeater and flick it once. This step is really important because it's necessary for the farm to work. What this will do is it will delay the signal to the piston. That way, the sugarcane will have the chance to grow. To use this farm, all you have to do is flick this lever. Then it should activate the system. How it works is water causes the sugarcane to grow by getting toggled back and forth, and this piston will harvest all the sugarcane. Every few seconds, sugarcane should grow, and you get automatically funneled into this hopper which will then get funneled into this chest by the way guys you can make as many of these farms as you want you can stack them or you can put them right next to each other and it should still work just as good i hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this super easy and efficient automatic minecraft bedrock sugarcane farm let me know if you have any questions please like comment subscribe and check out my other minecraft videos i upload every day thanks for watching